very good back. He's a very powerful runner. He's got very strong legs. Um, the first guy very rarely gets him down, so we're really going to have to gang tackle him. But keeping him under control, I think, is one of the keys for you guys. Yes. How do you practice going up against their tight ends? I mean, do you guys do a lot of one-on-ones with, with Rodgers and work, or you know, a lot of ones versus ones with, with Rodgers and work to get used to their, their yeah. size and speed? It's pretty hard to simulate. Um, so we're doing best we can in terms of uh, just getting a feel for them, not only running passes, but, but you know, as blockers. You know, they're big body guys that, that uh, you know, really get around and you know, have the ability to get up into somebody's upper body. So we were trying to simulate as best as possible, but it's very hard to do. How does that, uh, with their reliance on the tight ends, force you to maybe uh, alter your personnel uh, packages? Well, we don't have anybody 6'7", so <laughs> it makes it kind of hard. They do a good job moving those guys around in different areas, um, and, and like I said, utilize them in the run game and the pass game. Those are guys, are, all those guys, are very talented receivers. Would you rely on some of your quicker linebackers, or you just load up with uh, secondary guys? Or? Well, you know, it's it's uh, those guys are extremely hard to cover. Who you put on? There's nobody you face that throws the tight end as much as these guys that we're doing. Not to this point. No. And is this a? Uh, because of this, what we're talking about, are they the uh, the singular offense that you'll face this season that does that, uh, that has that such a reliance on the, the power so, running and the tight end? Yeah, so far. Nobody else does that. Yeah, so far. UCLA threw to their tight end uh, quite a bit down in the red area. Um, but so to speak, I don't think anybody has a trio of three really good tight ends uh, as this team does. These guys are really more of a power team versus the UCLA and run more of that spread. So this team is. They're not really like anybody exactly you face, right? Uh, they're, they're very much a pro-style uh, offense. They're similar to uh, Southern Cal. They're similar to uh, Southern Utah. But Southern Cal's got very productive lightouts, and these guys don't really... Right, I just, I'm just talking about the, the, con- the concepts within yeah. the run game and the pass game and within the blocking scheme. It's similar. How was your, uh, your front seven people? How are they uh, looking forward to this, this physical matchup? Well, it's going to be very physical, and our guys are up for the challenge, and, and uh, they're excited to be able to play on Saturday. But, you know, Stanford's a very physical group, and, and uh, it's very obvious, obvious on tape. And, and we, you know, a lot of our guys have played against them, so they know what kind of game it's going to be. Last year, yeah, defense kind of left just about everything on the field. Now, Trevor was 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 just ripped up after that game, and a lot of guys were banged up after that game. Mike obviously was already banged up. Mm-hmm. Do they go into this game kind of knowing that they're going to be throwing their bodies out there and put, laying it all on the line? What, what's 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 the atmosphere like in the, as far as the defensive? Well, I'd like to think that we do that every week. So, you know, I, this week's really no different. We're going to be physical and play smart, tough, competitive football. Think about what Sebastian's given you in terms of a physical safety presence. Yeah, he, he raises everybody's level around him. You know, he's a guy that plays extremely hard. Um, he's in the right spots at the right time, and he loves to play the game. And so I'm excited about his progress. What's he doing better each week? That's just getting more confident. Mm-hmm. I can see, you know, he comes off the field in between series and he can tell me exactly what happened out there whereas maybe his first game he was not as easy to divulge information right uh, now that he's got more experience uh, he comes right off the field and tells you exactly what happened and when the so, guy gets comfortable like that and it's not mechanical he's right. just a different player I yeah it continues to grow that way and, and uh, you know, that's what you want to see in the other players yes yes even though he's a little he's not the biggest safety out there He's going to be going against some of those tight ends. Is there any concern that there's a little bit of mismatch, or does he hit so hard, and, and does he play bigger than he is that it won't be? Well, they're concern? going to create mismatches on anybody just because of their size, and uh, so we just have to be aware of where they are. And, and um, you know, they're, in, in different times, there's going to be different people covering those guys and uh, in the run and the pass. I mean, we got guys that got to take them on from a run game standpoint as well. So they, they, they create a, a, a big-time mismatch. So you're fresh out of six foot eight defensive backs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think we can shine any out of scholarships. <laughs> Thanks, Clancy. All right, All right, guys. Have a good one. All right.